Greetings, citizens of the internet, and welcome to this video. So, way back in April of 2016, I published this video right here, detailing my thoughts on Ubuntu 16.04, this was the Marte edition, and a quick update, which isn't the relevant part of this video. And you may notice in that video that I am visually impaired. So, some of you may be thinking, well, how do I get around a computer then? Well, I'll show you today. First of all, let me just explain. I have no idea what's happening with this mouse. It looks like something's in progress, but nothing's in progress as far as I know. There's no windows open. So, you'll just have to excuse that. I want to go ahead and show you the first accessibility feature, and if we open Snaps, I'll be able to do that. So if I type in Orca, this is also accessible, by the way, if you come up here to the menu, and you go to Universal Access Screen Reader. Screen Reader on. Left shift. Now, I hope you can hear that. So, right now it's focused on the desktop, and you notice if I press up and down. So it's speaking the icon, so if I want to go into Mikey's home, it'll load this, and I can navigate around the icons. So I can go into code, doorbell, whatever. Now I want to show you another accessibility feature here. If I press the Windows key, and N, you'll notice it's negative. Now that's because, if I come over here to Workspace 2 and I open up Marty and Tweak, you will see that under the Window Manager tab, I have this set to Compiz Desktop Compositor. That is because it allows me to do negative things like this. It also allows me to do one other thing, which I'll show you right now. So you can see I'm on this negative window and I've got my mouse here. If I press the Windows key and I scroll, I'm zooming in. And you can zoom in really far, except this mouse is in the way, which I still don't understand why that's happening. But, so, that's amazing. I can zoom in and I can read stuff if I really have to, which isn't very often. It's a feature that was keeping me on the Mac. Likewise, this negative was keeping me on the Mac. Now, this negative works in two ways. You'll notice I've got one window open right now when it's negative. If I open up another window, we'll say Bloomer. If I can spell it correctly, you'll notice that this looks like it's negative, but I think it's just the way it was designed. If I press the Windows key and N on this, it negatives this. But it doesn't unnegative this. This is because it's window control. So I can negative a single window, or I could open up something like a terminal. I can negative this terminal, and I can unnegative this. And now they're all independent of each other. So if I wanted to negative the whole screen, you hit the Windows key in M, and it negatives the whole screen. Now, obviously you can unnegative things manually, but. I want to point out something here, and that is that all of these settings are by default. I didn't change any Orca settings as far as I'm aware. I didn't change any Compass settings by for sure. I don't even have Compass config installed. So this is all out of the box. Um, the zoom also is just part of Compass. I didn't I didn't change anything there. So we can go on the web here. And we'll go to. I hope I'll type it. I really need to update my blog actually, I haven't twisted in ages, but when it loads here. Okay, right here. You'll notice not only can I negative this, which in my case is kind of pointless because the way I like to negative stuff is I like to have white on black, which is why, in case you're wondering, this website looks like this, is because I like having white on black because it's easier to read. Um, but I just realized that there's normally a setting I set on Firefox, and if you go to about preferences, you'll see it here. If I come down to the Content tab, and I go to No, maybe not. If I come over here, I'll make it. If I go to. Ha! Colors. Now you can obviously choose the colors here. But you'll notice this. You'll notice this uh, tick box. Use system colors. If I tick that, 
it matches my system colours, although it hasn't yet. But then, if you come down here, it says... Right now it's set to only with high contrast themes. If I set that to always, and then I press OK, you'll notice it now matches my system theme. Now you may think, well, okay, so you've got it on ambience. If I go to, if I go back to Techified now, now it's in negative. Go back. I'll just type it in again. Okay, so now I'm on the Techified website, and if I own negative here, you can see it's all white. So why would I want it to be all white if I prefer it to be white on black? Well, that's why negative comes in, because if I set it to match my theme, and my theme's normal, and then I negative all the windows, I can have any combination of anything. I can I can have white on black. If I really want to, I can set it back this way for things like YouTube. So, that's how I get around the computer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is most appreciated. And it helps out everything. It helps out my channel. It lets me know you care about things like this because, well, I never thought I'd even be making videos like this. I didn't think anybody would watch them. So, that's all from me. For oh, I did all negative. That's all for me from now. As I said, please try to subscribe. If you didn't like videos that I make, dislike them. I want to know why. You leave them in the comments. Feel free to leave a comment if you have one anyway, and I'll see you next time.